Hi, this is Fernando with uh, ReallyNiceHomes.com. This is me right here, and today I wanted to talk to you about Zillow and the way that they report the estimates for homes for sale in the area where I work, which is in Maryland region. Obviously, this applies to anywhere in the United States. As you know, Zillow is a company that provides information on recent real estate sales. And uh, they take all the information from the MRIS, which is this website where all realtors have access to it. This is where I put all the listings that I have for my clients and I put them for sale. From this website, it gets reported, it gets sent to Zillow, to Realtor.com, to Trulia.com, to all the places where you see them on the internet. But as you know, the internet is a place where you get good information and you can also get bad information. But the, but the thing that I really want to stress today is that the information that Zillow uh, provides and estimates is actually hurting uh, a lot of families because they're making decisions based on their, esti their estimates of the value of their properties. And because of those decisions that they're making, uh, then they find out later on that it's not an actual value and basically they are kind of forcing to go in ahead or they lose months and months of frustration to be able to do what they were trying to do to begin with. So I'm going to show you right now the time and date so you can see my point here. I'm going to refresh this. This is 4.38 p.m. Wednesday, December 31st, 2014. So <clears throat> I went into the MRS system and I saw that this particular property, and I wanted to tell you, this property over here, I don't have no association whatsoever with this property with the sellers, with the buyers, the listing agent, or the buyer's agent. There is, this is just public information, and, I'm, uh, and I can use this information so I can make my point. This house sold yesterday, December 30, 2014, one day before today. And, um, and I want to tell you that when they sold this house, they sold it for uh, uh, three uh, for nine hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, but they gave a subsidy of twenty-five thousand dollars to the buyer. So basically, they sold it for nine hundred and twenty thousand dollars total. This is what the seller got at the closing table. All right, this property has been on the market, and as you can see here on about 410 days, Day, days on the market meaning 410 days. So this is obviously over a year. So let's, uh, let's kind of see what, what happened to this property to begin with. The property was originally listed for a, a million forty thousand dollars basically. So 410 days ago this house was listed for a million forty thousand dollars and it sold like, a, like I show you here now that is sold for a lot less than that, you know, $920,000, period, $900,000. So now let's go over here and I'm going to copy this, this uh, address for this property and, uh, and I want to see what Silo has to say about this property. So let me just go and get information from Zillow here. So here is Zillow. So as you can see, this this house, which is the same address, 14828, 14828. Zillow is reporting on the estimates to be worth a million forty thousand dollars. That is, that is a a, a big change from nine hundred thousand dollars that they sold to a million forty thousand. That's a hundred and forty thousand dollars off. The problem with this is this, that these people, the sellers for this property, they listed initially this property for a million forty thousand dollars. Guess what? It's exactly the same price what Zillow is estimating as the estimate. So the owners of this property, they made the decision to sell this property based on this price. For 410 days, they, they have their Dreams, and I imagine this is I'm, I'm supposing this. Okay, I'm not saying that this is what really happened, but in my mind, this is a represent, representative of what's going on with a lot of clients and a lot of people that are selling homes right now, not just in Maryland but all the United States. These people made the decision to sell their home for based on this price, and they put the house on the market for that price 410 days ago. Finally, yesterday. They sold it for $900,000, which is $140,000 less than they thought that they were going to receive. So when someone is making a decision to sell a home, it is a 
it's, it's something that is a very, very important decision in their lives. They're making a decision because they know more or less how much they're going to get on their equity and they're going to find out that this money can be used to buy another house or something else. So they make this decision, the house, the house is, is put on the market and 410 days later, after reducing the price once, twice, three times, they finally settle by selling it for $900,000, $140,000 less. Meanwhile, the estimate is still showing, as of today, the $140,000 off from the actual price. Guess what the property is worth right now? As of yesterday, this property was worth what people pay for it, which is the $900,000. This is what the real value of this property actually is. And because of that reason, uh, I want to tell you that if you're making a decision to sell your property, by going to zero and trying to find out what your house is worth, you're making yourself, you're setting yourself for disappointment because, because if you're making the decision of selling your house based on this, and then you end up selling it for $140,000 less, you know, it's not, it's not something that you're going to stop and say, okay, now I changed my mind, because there are contracts in the middle of this. You sign your name in contracts, and you sign your name to say you're going to do something with this property. At the same time, your, your mind and your, 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 your family, they're not in the home anymore. You're selling it. Your, your heart is set in another home already. So basically, you just took the plunge to try to sell your property, and here it is. Now you sold the property for a lot less than you thought you were going to sell, all because you went to Zillow or you went to try to find the actual value of the property where it was inaccurate, bad information. And even today, will Zillow have the courtesy to say, okay, maybe this house is not worth a million forty, and this house is only worth 900000 because that's what they sold it for. No, they don't. It's still showing that. You know, obviously, you know, Zillow has the disclaimer. It says that they're not accurate. There are sometimes they can be inaccurate for up to 20%, 30%. Who knows? But the problem is people are basing decisions, major decisions in their lives based on this number. And if you're trying to sell your property, do not rely on this number and ask a good real estate agent to give you what the actual value of your property better yet if, the, if this information is very important to you I will hire an appraiser pay $400, $500 to do so the appraiser will be able to tell you how much your house is really worth and put the house in the market around that price range and not wait 410 days to sell your house and basically you're giving up and then you have you kind of force into doing it and that's it it's done so this is my uh, I guess my complaint towards Zillow and Zillow do not understand that they are shattering dreams of families all over the United States by providing these inaccurate numbers that do not reflect the actual numbers where the houses are selling for a lot less so next time Please call a real estate agent, a good real estate agent, that will be able to give you an idea what your house is worth. And do not rely on silo estimates for that purpose. Thank you and uh, have a great day.